Struggling with Game Week 1 squad selection? Use FantasyFootballFix.com and apply artificial intelligence and up to stats to your starting squad to calculate which players will give you the highest point returns. FantasyFootballFix.com has a dedicated preseason website containing unique tools, statistics and projections. Click the link below and check out FantasyFootballFix.com now. Preseason form is far from the most important factor when it comes to building your Game Week 1 squad, but it can be useful to determine the formations that teams are likely to use, which players are competing for the same starting positions, the current fitness levels of each player going into the new season, and which attacking players are warmed up and have already got a taste for scoring goals. The Arsenal duo of Alexandre Lacazette and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang have scored 6 and 5 goals respectively across Arsenal's 6 preseason games so far. They started off with some fairly straightforward matches against the likes of Boreham Wood and Crawley Town, who conceded a combined 17 goals to Arsenal without reply. In their most recent preseason games against Atletico Madrid, PSG and Chelsea, Aubameyang provided 2 assists while Lacazette contributed 3 goals. West Ham's Marko Inatovic appears to have picked up right where he left off last season, finding the back of the net five times in five preseason appearances. The Hammers have scored a total of 11 goals throughout their preseason games so far, with the Austrian directly contributing to six. Daniel Sturridge and Fernando Lorente have also shown some form, and whilst unlikely to be long-term FPL options, they could perhaps feature early on, at least from the bench, given the lack of preseason minutes registered by the likes of Roberto Firmino and Harry Kane following their involvement in the World Cup. Andros Townsend tops the list in terms of assists provided in preseason, with no player matching his five contributions so far. His teammate Alexander Soloth could be pushing for a starting place come game week one, having provided three assists and two goals across five appearances in preseason. However, reports suggest Danny Ings could be on his way to the Eagles to perhaps offer some competition. Crystal Palace have scored 18 goals across 6 preseason games, conceding on just 5 occasions, so perhaps the opposition hasn't been the toughest. Burnley's Matt Loughton is leading the way in terms of defenders, but it's worth noting that all 3 of his assists came during a single game, a 5-2 win over Kurz and Ashton. Aubameyang has directly contributed to more goals than any other player during this preseason period so far, scoring 5 times and providing 3 assists. Arsenal played two of their games behind closed doors, so it's hard to say which players started or featured in those games, but we do know the former Borussia Dortmund striker has started on at least four occasions, suggesting his place in the team is more secure than Alexander Lacazette. He's been benched in favour of Mkhitaryan at times. Lucas Moura is a name who stands out here too, with three goals and two assists from four appearances. With Spurs looking likely to be without a number of players early on, due to injuries and late returns from the World Cup, could the midfielder play a short-term role in our FPL teams? Alexis Sanchez is another man who deserves a mention, having contributed to two goals and one assist in four appearances during Man United's pre-season tour. Crucially, the Chilean international has been used as a striker in a 3-5-2 system, alongside Juan Mata. Jose Mourinho's side have scored just five pre-season goals in total, one of which occurred before Sanchez had joined them on tour, meaning that when on the pitch, only one of United's goals was scored without the involvement of the 10.5 million FPL midfielder. Chelsea have played just three preseason games at present against Perth Glory, Inter Milan, and Arsenal. Pedro has started on each occasion and scored two of their three goals. Eden Hazard and Willian have both been unavailable for preseason so far, so the Spaniard is likely to go into the new season looking the most fresh. Finally, Patrick Van Aanholt has been directly involved in four preseason goals during his four appearances, only three of which were from the start. It's no secret that the left back loves to contribute at both ends of the field, and despite his £5.5 million price tag, consistent returns of five or more goals in each of the last three seasons means we can't afford to overlook him. Crystal Palace have kept clean sheets in their two most recent games against Boreham Wood and Reading, ahead of their game week one clash with newly promoted Fulham.